Hi everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. So Newcastle lost unfortunately 2-1 to Tottenham and we are doing the player ratings. I'm going to start with Dubravka. I thought he had a decent game and couldn't really do much about the goals. Made some um, very good saves, especially the one from Sissoko, so I'm going to give him a 7. Sharky, talk to me about DeAndre Yedlin. DeAndre Yedlin, I'll have to give a 6-2. I think he looked a little bit lacklustre in, in, in most of the game, uh, but that's Tottenham's quality. Yeah. Next, uh, Jamal Lascelles. I thought was gen generally quite good, but I think um, there was some um, poor defending for uh, both of Tottenham's goals. So I'm just going to say about a six because generally he was okay, but he obviously elapses and concentrations cost us. Kieran Clark, I'd have to also give him a six as well. I think that you were hit the nail on the head about the defending uh, for both goals, especially the second one for Deli Ali. I mean, how he was allowed to get his head on that it was unbelievable, really. So six. Okay. Uh, next one, I'm going to say for Paul Dummer, I'm actually going to give him an eight surprisingly because uh, someone that um, I was a bit worried about going into this game in preseason he hasn't looked great but I thought he mastered them really really well and um, dealt with Lucas Moura quite well dealt with Ericsson quite well um, and looked pretty good so I'm gonna say eight for Paul Dummett uh, what about Matt, Matt Ritchie? Matt Ritchie quiet at times after give him a six um, he was bright in pot but he didn't really see much of the ball but again all down to Tottenham's quality they had a lot of the ball he just found a hard to really cut in because we don't really have a recognised striker. Uh, next one for John Joe Shelby. I thought he was okay. I thought he was pretty good, so I'd, I'd give him a seven. Um, times where the creativity was lacking a little bit. Uh, most of the creativity came through Kennedy, so we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, but Shelby did at times play that splitting defence pass, and he is the key in this team. So I'm going to give him a seven. Um, Mohamed Diame. Diame again a six. First game of the season. I think he worked hard. He tried, but there was too much back passing at times. I think he needed to get the ball forward a little bit quicker. Just you try to up the pace a little bit, but for that, a six. Next on to Candy, I'll create a spark, and I'm going to give him actually a nine. I thought he was brilliant, and he looked so strong on the ball, and he was making the driving runs um, through the middle of Spurs, and he found them really difficult to deal with. We were talking to some of the Tottenham lads, and they said that Candy was the was the main threat, and I'm glad we got him for a season on loan. And for me, our man of the match, I'm going to give him a nine. Uh, what about Iose Perez? Perez, he was working hard, as he always does. Uh, you know, he was, he's just typical Perez, isn't it? You know, he's winning the ball quite a lot, trying to create opportunities, find it tough at times, have to give him a seven. All right, and then for Hossley, got a goal, um, <laughs> which uh, it's almost like we're surprised, but no, it's great, for the, it's great for the lad, especially with all the strikers that have come into the club. Um, it's good for him to sort of um, give them something to think about. Um, put the pressure on. I don't think he did anything wrong, so I'm actually going to give Hossley an eight. Well done to Hosselu. Um, but moving on to the subs, we'll start with Salomon Rondon on his debut. I thought he played all right, you know, he had a couple of chances towards the end where he could have scored. I think he's just starting to find his feet a little bit. It's his first game in a Newcastle shirt and I think he took to the crowd really, really well. So for that, for the short period he was on, I'd give him a seven. Okay. Uh, Yoshinori Muto didn't really have that much time on the pitch, um, but when he came on, I thought a bit of a gave us a bit of a bright spark. But you could say that maybe just a bit of injection of pace into the tired legs of Tottenham um, gave him something to think about. And I think hopefully um, he'll be an option that we use moving forward. I'm going to give him going to give him a six because not much happened, but he did do something. Uh, Christian Atsu, very similar yourself there. Six didn't see too much of him. Uh, came on second half. He just he fails to deceive sometimes. He gets the ball and. When he does attack, he needs to cross it in first time. You know, he needs to try and make Rondon work a bit more. Uh, it's six. For Rafa Benitez, as the final one, um, I would say, to be fair, I think he got it pretty much spot on. I mean, the, the team set up well. Tottenham's first goal was very, very fortunate for them. I, I didn't quite see how it happened. Um, the second, uh, Their second goal, a bit of disorganisation. But the team looked motivated. They looked really up for it. Um, it was the system that we knew was going to set up. The selection of Hosselu proved good. Um, um, and also the only one that's actually played pre-season. Uh, the subs were good. I'll give Rafa a nine, have no complaints about that. So that's the player ratings. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to Castle Fantasy TV and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.